Well, two of the most unique birds in the world now call the North Carolina Zoo home. The pair of hornbills are some of the most critically endangered birds in the world. Shannon Smith shows us in today's Zoo Files. The newest birds at the North Carolina Zoo may look familiar. A lot of people recognize this is Zazu from the Lion King. But their name certainly is not. They are Vonderdecken hornbills. Yeah, I know, it's a little bit of a mouthful. Um, named after the German explorer that actually discovered them. The male and female just moved into the desert dome. Zookeepers describe them as extremely active, intelligent, and agile even with those big bills. They can catch like an insect out of the air as big as that thing is and it's like a big old nose on top of their face. Zookeepers say that's not the only reason guests should try to get a glimpse of the birds. These hornbills are a very rare pair. There's not many uh, left. Uh, most hornbills around the world are pretty much considered endangered or critically endangered. That's because the Vonderdecking hornbills only live and nest in hollow trees in East Africa in the wild. There's not a lot of trees to begin with, especially in East Africa, but so many of the locals need that wood for creating uh, fires, for cooking and safety, and even building their houses. Conservationists are working to preserve trees and build artificial nests to save the hornbills in the wild. Meanwhile, zoos hope to boost the population too. This pair may eventually be able to breed and have baby hornbills. We'll see. Uh, they, they're showing good signs. Uh, she's a little young still, which is why we don't have a tree cavity in there right away, especially because they're new. You don't want to put that pressure on the first date, let's be honest, you know. They, they need to get to know each other a little bit more. At the North Carolina Zoo, Shannon Smith, Fox 8 News. Well, the hornbills can reach a height of about two feet tall.